to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Nika, and my channel is all about home decor, DIYs, and a little splash of lifestyle. So for today, I will be showing you all a home decor hack. This is kind of like part two because I did a um, video maybe about two or three months ago um, showing you all the shower curtain hack. If you haven't heard about the shower curtain hack, this is essentially what it is. You take um, a Canva board. Well, the first video was me taking a blank Canva and wrapping it with shower curtain fabric and using a staple gun to kind of attach it to the board. Today, I'm showing you how to essentially repurpose wall decor that you probably already have in your home. Maybe someone gave you a gift, I don't know, and you don't like it. Here is how you can um, save yourself from having to throw it away and still put it to good use. So this is actually the um, wall art that I made from the first video. Um, if you've been following my um, home building and buying journey, you know that initially I wanted my owner suite to be emerald green, gold, and white. So I white bedding and then have emerald gold and um, green. I said emerald gold. Emerald green and gold is my accent color. So I had a change of heart. I ended up doing navy and gold. And so I had already created these two camp, these canvas or whatever. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to throw them out just yet because I know that I can use them one day in the future. And my dad and stepmom are in the process of like revamping their living room. They have like different shades of blue, tan, and brown. And they were having a hard time finding some wall decor. So of course, being the good daughter that I am, I'm like, hey, I can make you all, um, you know, some wall art or whatever, because they wanted some big canvas. Um, they were running into some in the store, but it didn't quite match, you know, it, didn't, it wasn't given the look that they were going for, pretty much. So um, essentially, all I had to spend for this uh, project was $17, because I'd already had these um, two Canva boards, um, and I purchased them from Hobby Lobby. They were about when you get one free. And so I think between the two of them, I may have spent like $50. And then this shower curtain that I purchased off of Amazon the first time was like 20 something dollars, but this one was $17.99. And so this is what I started with. And this is the finished result. I'm gonna turn it this way so you all can see. But it's the blues, it's some ivory and tan and brown, a little hint of gold. And so, um, yeah, if you want to see how I went from this to this, just stay tuned. Um, trust me, it is super easy. Um, you can save yourself a lot of money. And like I said, repurpose a lot of things that are probably already in your home. And so just to show you all, um, all that's needed for this type of project, if you're starting from scratch, of course, you need um, a Canva board or, you know, a, another piece of wall art that you no longer have use for and a staple gun. Um, but you will see that in this video, I had to improvise halfway through, but all you're doing is just making sure that you have the correct measurements, the, the right amount of shower curtain fabric, um, for your board and you're just staple gunning. Um, and you don't have to necessarily use a shower curtain. Um, you can use, you know, regular curtains, you can use, um, I forget what these, those things are called. Anyway, you can use any type of fabric that you desire. Um, but yeah, so today I will actually, I'm not taking this off of the Canva. I am just stapling right over top. So stay tuned. Okay. So the first step here would be to, um, make sure that you have enough shower curtain fabric to cover both of your pieces i already know that so if i didn't know i would have laid it out um and you know if one side was longer than the other and i had to adjust then i would just make the appropriate adjustments but this particular shower curtain is 72 by 72 so it's the same on both ends so um pretty much what i'm going to start doing is um kind of lining things up and making sure that it's straight because you don't want it to be crooked, of course. Um, well, I guess it would, it kind of depends on what um, style or what the, you know, what the print is on the fabric, but because this isn't like one of those abstract pieces 
of fabric, then it kind of needs to be straight. So I, um, you don't want to pull it all the way to the end because you want to make sure that you have enough um, fabric to fold over because you're essentially going to be stapling um, the shower curtain onto the canvas. And I'm just going to staple right over top of what I've already been, <laughs> what I already have going on here. So um, just making sure that I have enough fabric. And yeah, everything looks good. So I am going to start cutting that. Now what I am going to do now that I have made sure that I have the perfect amount um, of shower curtain fabric to fold over and staple down, that's exactly what I'm gonna start doing. So I have my handy dandy staple gun here and just gonna start stapling away. And you kinda wanna like pull as you staple. Um, Uh-oh, something fell apart. <laughs> you kinda wanna pull as you staple because you don't want it to be like, I guess, loose. Um, you want it to be stretched, the fabric to be stretched on the canvas. So um, yeah, I hope this isn't broken. Um, it fell out again, oh well. Okay, it works without it. But I'm kind of not putting the staples like super close together. Um, no particular reason why. Um, when I first started doing this, I used to put them close together. <laughs> um, I guess I was just paranoid. But right now, I'm just making sure that um, the fabric is straight. was good so now uh, when you get to the end it's kind of a little different because you have to do this whole folding thing um nothing fancy you just want to make sure it's like not buckled um in the corner it's kind of like folding an envelope i don't know the appropriate term for it <laughs> i just know that you don't want it to look tacky in the corner um because it's you know excess um fabric there but once I'm done, I'll give you all a close up of what I did in the corners. But yeah, just coming around, like I said, stretching as I go to make sure and adjusting it because sometimes the fabric moves as you staple. So just want to make sure that everything is even. I'm going to show you all close up and then I'll finish it out and start on the next one. All right, y'all. So this is what I have done so far. Like I said, I did not really do them close together at all. Um, and here's the corner I was telling you about. So kind of like flipping it over. But yeah, it's not really done close together. And as you can see, the previous shower curtain that I used, I did not um, staple those close together either. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out so you all can see the end result. All right, y'all, here is the finished product. Well, product, same thing, project. Um, but again, it started out as the um, canvas with the green and gold colors um, in the shower curtain. Changed my mind, um, said I didn't want them anymore, saved them because I knew I could use them in the future. And then my dad and stepmom were actually looking for some wall art. So like I said, their couches are like a new couches, are like a tan color. And then for accents, they have different shades of blue and some off white. And so 
we got on Amazon, um, searched, I think like blue and brown shower curtains. I don't know what we searched, but anyway, she, my stepmom really, really, really liked this shower curtain. Um, I believe it was only like $17 and some change. Um, it's somewhere in that range. And so, yeah, so I can actually see some of the gold that was in the other, um, <laughs> in the other, uh, shower curtain underneath, but it works perfect. Um, because I did, like I said, they have some hints of gold in their living room. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited with how it turned out. Um, please, please, please let me know in the comments is if this is something that you are willing to give a try or that you've tried maybe from my other video, let me know how it turned out. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new here again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's make it official so that you can see more decorating hacks in the future.